this is Judy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Catbird Baby Piccolo Carrier with a newborn. Uh, the nice thing about the Piccolo, oops, this is upside down, sorry. The nice thing about the Piccolo is that you can cinch the bottom of the carrier uh, so that it will be much smaller, so you can fit a very small baby in here and still give them a good seat. So before you put your baby in the carrier, you have to figure out how wide you want the bottom of the seat to be. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to set your carrier on a flat surface and you want the print facing up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put your baby down on the carrier with their bottom right here in line with the cinching mechanism. Okay, and then you can see if I were to pull this up here between her legs, this is just way too wide. So I'm just going to take a guess to see how much I need to cinch. So over here you can see this is the cord. You just pull this and that cinches the bottom of the carrier. So I'm just going to guess that I need to cinch it about that much. And I want to be able to comfortably put the carrier in between her legs, in between baby's legs, so that there's not a whole bunch of extra fabric. And this is just about perfect. So once I do that, then you just want to feed the rest. It's a little tricky to do this. But you want to feed the remainder of the cording through. Oh. And cinch it down, and then here I'll lift the baby up so you can see a little bit better. So then here, you can see I've taken this little part here, and I've taken all the extra slack and pulled it through. So now the bottom of my carrier, it's tricky to do one handed. Alright, so the bottom of the carrier is now cinched to a good width for this particular baby. And now I can show you how to put the baby on. Okay, once you have the bottom cinched to the correct width for your particular baby, then you're ready to put the carrier on. Now this carrier does not have the support belt, which means that there is no padding at the bottom. So this carrier, you will use it in an apron style, which means that the print part of the carrier is going to be against your legs as if you're wearing an apron. So, got a little tangled here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up higher on my waist than I normally would, just because the baby is so small. So I click it in the back and just tighten that up. Normally I would wear this further down on my hips, but the baby's really small and I don't want her to get lost in the body of the carrier. So I'm going to bring this up higher and then I will set the baby in the normal place. And when I bring the carrier up, that will effectively shorten the body of the carrier. So once you have this set where you want it to, you're ready to get your baby. And this is my guest star today. She's Adelaide and she's eight weeks old. Are you smiling or are you crying? You're not sure, huh? All right, so there are two different ways that you can do a front carry. You can do it um, with the straps buckled, just straight across the back, and then you buckle the strap along, across your back, or you can do with the straps crossed. First, I'll show you with the straps buckled. So I just set her here, and I bring the body of the carrier up in between the legs. And I always want to keep one hand on the baby, especially when they're teeny tiny, you want to support their heads too. So I brought the carrier up, and now I'm going to just take the shoulder straps, Put them over my shoulders, and then I want to cinch this up so that I'm comfortable. And this carrier has a dual cinching mechanism, so you can tighten it in two different directions. Sorry, my straps got a little bit tangled here on me. Okay. All right. So now I want to reach back here, and this is the tricky part. You kind of have to be a little flexible to do this. You gotta reach back and click this. If you don't do that, then your shoulder straps have a tendency to fall off. So you can see here that she has a really good seat. Her legs are not spread all crazy. Um, she has a good seat from one knee to the other. She's in here nice and snuggly. Um, and you can see that the hood that I have rolled up is creating a nice little headrest for her. Okay, now I'm going to show you the other way to do a front carry, and that is by crossing the straps in the back. And this is the way that Catbird Baby recommends that you do front carries. So again, I have the carrier already tied around my waist. I put the baby up against my chest, keeping one hand on the baby. I bring the body of the carrier up. I want to make sure she's well seated. And now I put each strap over my shoulders. I'll turn around here and then you grab one strap, bring it across, and then you grab the buckle here in the front and you click them together. And then just tighten that up. 
I'm going to sit here, little lady. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you use two hands when you put these together. And tighten it up to the where you are comfortable. And this is too loose. See how she's just kind of hanging there? That's not good. So I need to bring her closer to my body. And I'm going to pull back here, pulling the slack out, and then I'm just tightening this up. I'm doing the same thing here, pulling the slack out and tightening it up. Now her foot is stuck here. That's not what we want. So I'm going to bounce you down into the seat a little bit. And she likes to push her head back. So she's a little unhappy, but she's in here. She's good and safe. I have the straps crossed across my back. And once you get them basically set to um, the adjustment that you want, you don't have to do as much adjusting. It's much easier to put it on and off. So there you have it.